Hello again, Misfits, and it's time for another one minute review. And this time we're taking a look at Flutter Game. It's actually not out yet. It's actually in uh, Kickstarter, Game Found. Game Found. Game Found. Um, you know, they're all the same to me because I just buy all the games. So, you know, I just can't keep track of them all. Um, but Flutter was cool. They, we, got a, we got a copy. Uh, uh, is this a, it's a pre copy sent to Prototype. us here. Prototype. Prototype. That's what they call it. My words are not working today. And uh, we got the chance to play this and actually break it down. And it was it was actually surprisingly a lot of fun. So I'm going to do a quick one-minute review on this. You know, it might take five minutes, six minutes, whatever, you know, who's, who's really counting on these one-minute reviews. Um, but one of the things I did find interesting about this game was that despite looking simple on the surface, it has quite a bit of complexity to it. So Flutter is a tile lane game. And you're basically, you have pollinators. And uh, I noticed that it's actually not just flutters, on, or flutters, not just uh, butterflies on it, but it's all kinds of pollinators. So you have dragonflies and you have ladybugs and you have um, hummingbirds. And uh, aesthetically, it's great. It just looks nice. Um, you have your little bees here that are also, of course, pollinators. It's really about pollinators, even though um, it has a, a thing on there about saving monarch butterflies, which are, are gorgeous. Um, but it's a tiling game and you're looking to score the most points. You get points based on how many of these you have at the end of the game, the little petals that you get. Um, but you also get uh, points based on the tiles that you place down and by closing them. And that's really the trick of this game. That's really the tough part. And if you watch your gameplay video, you'll see that um, it is not as easy as it sounds. So you have a rondel here, and a rondel, of course, is this circular um, track that you pull tiles from. I'm going I'm to put a couple extra tiles down here. And basically, this is your starting point. You have to take the tile after it. If you don't, you have to pay petals uh, to equal to the color equal to the color of the tile, but it's it's progressive. So, for an example, if I want to skip this tile to go to the next tile, I have to pay one blue to go to this tile, and then if I want to skip that one, I have to pay two blue, and it's it's the color on the tile that you have to pay in that petal color. Um, and it's progressive, like I said, so you pay more as you go around. But the first one is free, and you're going to be taking largely from the first tile, especially for like the first half of the game, because you don't want to waste petals. And you're taking these and you're placing them down. Now, when you match them, you basically pay a penalty if any of the tile, uh, uh, any of the tile colors don't match. So, for example, I put this here, and you have to match it. Uh, a legal placement is basically making, making a... a, a, a what is it, a flower, basically a flower. And you have to match the colors. And if they don't match, you pay the penalty. So for example, if I were to put this here, I'd be paying two red as a penalty, and I'd be paying two blue as a penalty because these colors don't match. Alternatively, if I get another tile that does match somehow, and you can place these, as long as they match, you can place them anywhere. Like as long as they line up, granted this is me being very OCD. So if I put it this way, for example, this would be four purple and I'd get three red here. So the trick of this game is really a balance. You want to match up tiles, get as much petals as you can, but sometimes you just want to enclose tiles because that's how you get a majority of your points. So when you enclose tiles, like, you know, you get them fully enclosed, like here and here and here and here, um, you pay petals equal to the little, like you see the little symbols over here, you pay petals equal to the symbols on the tile and in the color of the pollinator. So for example, you have blue and you got six uh, little marks there. So you pay six blue in your petals and you get six points. So you move along the track, six points. Now that's a really important and it really creates this conundrum because not only you're trying to gain petals, but you're also trying to gain the right color of petals so you can pay out when you enclose a tile to get a lot of points because that's how you get the bulk of your points. And this creates kind of an interesting thing because you have to sometimes spend moves to get petals, but even though it might not be the right move because, and this happened to Mr. Tom during our playthrough, but he was trying to enclose multiple tiles and every time he was doing it, he had a, like you had a horrible shortage on purple. Yeah, I didn't Hard. have enough purple to make it happen. He didn't have enough purple to make it happen. And um, you didn't, you didn't like, you weren't able to get purple. So you kept getting moves blocked from you because every time you'd enclose something, you were having to pay purple to cap the to cap to point score the tile along with any other penalties and you just kept it kept messing you up so you have this interesting kind of tetrisy thing where you're not only tetrising these tiles but you're also trying to match it to get petals without paying too much of a penalty but also trying to go for an enclosure and on top of that you're putting your b down every time you put tiles on you have the option to put this and it's stuck there and once you enclose it though you get two extra points and then you move it to like another tile um this game is very cool i i actually liked the the thought processes going into it there was a lot of strategy even though it looked kind of simple i thought it was gonna be like okay i'm just dumping tiles down it because of the interactivity between the flower colors and paying out 
with these different resources, you have a you have like a little bit of tile, you have tiling, you have a little bit of resource management, but also color matching. So it's kind of it blended these three things, and it, it actually was a lot of fun. I I, I liked it a lot. Um, I, I would give this game a solid four out of five. Um, it it kind of elevated a bit. I was expecting maybe a three, but I actually really enjoyed this. Now this might not be for everybody, mind you. Um, while when I say a four to five, there's a caveat to that, only because if you're not into tile laying games and especially with strat like a lot of you know tetrisy strategy this might fall flat for you depending and you know the theme is also important and I, I like the theme i like butterflies and we've seen that theme hit a home run with many another game wingspan you know anybody and stuff like that um but for me it hit it hit pretty 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 good i, I hit that kind of nice little spot for me and and i know like i'd bust this game out every now and then to play and have a good time with so check it out guys this game is uh, called flutter just just it's we'll we'll put all the game found information below. These guys are getting everything uh, going anyway for their for their. Is it is it in game found right now? Is it is it? It's uh, the twenty first of March. Twenty first of March. So set your calendars. Twenty first of March. We'll put the links down below. Hopefully you're seeing this on their game found page. I think is where it's going to end up at. And uh, and just check it out, guys. It's a it's a it's a very very fun little game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this one interview. This game was a lot of fun for me. I hope you guys check it out. And take a look at it and give it a once over because honestly, this this is a this is a winner. This is a very solid, solid game here. Thanks again for joining me, guys. And one little tidbit for everyone you buy, they donate to the Monarch Conservation Fund, which is super awesome because if you like monarch butterflies, they are gorgeous. Take a look, you can Google that stuff. You could take pretty look at pretty pictures of them. It's it's awesome. Again, thanks guys again for joining me. And don't forget to game on. Thank <laughs> you.